Hey, what's going on guys? Pizza Lake with here and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a motion banner like this one. By using Photoshop and Premiere Pro. So if you want to find out how I did that, stay until the end of this video. And now, without wasting more time, let's jump straight to my laptop. First, going to Photoshop, I will upload all the images I will need for this project. And I will start with 1980 by 1080 canvas. And I'm going to click on Create. From there, I'm going to click on My Folder and go to the place where I keep all these images. I will select all of them and drag them onto the canvas. And now when I upload the images, I will rearrange the layers a little bit. Cool, and now when everything is done and you know how the motion banner will look like, the next thing I will do is go to file and save it as a PSD. And make sure that you save it on your computer as well. And now going to Premiere Pro, we're going to start creating a movement. Already in Premiere Pro, I'm going to go and click on new project. And from there, I'm going to just leave the name as it is and then press OK. And the first thing I'll do is go to the project panel and create a new sequence by going to the new item and click on sequence. From there, I'm going to use those settings 1080 with 30 frames per second and click OK. Then I will upload the PSD file from Photoshop gonna select it and click on open and you're gonna have this window jumping in front of you you will have the option to select merge all layers or you can select only the individual layers option where you're gonna have the chance to select the layers you would like to upload into Premiere Pro in my case I don't want the white background and then I'm gonna press OK then I'll click on this folder and start dragging the layers onto the timeline But as you can see now, I've got too many layers onto the timeline and to simplify that, I will nest both clouds. But before that, I'll select all these layers and extend them a little bit. So let's say somewhere around eight seconds like that. And once I've done this, as I said, I'm going to select both clouds and click with the right button of the mouse and click on nest. So I'm going to name it clouds. And as you can see now, we simplified a little bit because we've got both clouds in one layer. And now when we've got all this layer into the timeline, I will rearrange them a little bit. I will move this layer onto the top of it and put the plane above the background. And like that, we've got this plane. Let me just select it and I'm just going to change the position a little bit. And now we've got the plane below the clouds, which I initially wanted. And also I'm going to hide the magic knife because otherwise it's too messy on the screen. Now I'm going to apply it two more layers. In this case, it's going to be the Nike logo and the trainers. We're going to leave the trainers and the Nike logo for later. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the fun begins. We're going to start animating the clouds and after that, everything else. So I'm going to first select the clouds and go to the effect control panel. And from there, I'm going to increase the size of the layer to somewhere like that. And I'm going to move the cursor at the beginning of the video and create a keyframe onto the position. Then I'm going to move the cursor a few frames forwards, let's say 30 frames. And then I'm going to change the position a little bit. Then I'm going to move 30 frames forward again and then change the position again. And now when we have those two keyframes created, I'll select them and press Ctrl and C so I can copy them and move another 30 keyframes and place them. So let's just see how it looks like. Okay, and now we can see that we've got this slowly motion of the clouds. Next, I'll copy the last four keyframes, Control and C, then move 30 frames forward and Control and V. But to make it even smoother, I'll select all the keyframes and click with the right button with the mouse and continuous this here. So let's see the difference now. Okay, 
this animation is done and now we're going to carry on with the next animation so the next animation will be the airplane and again we're going to use the same methods i'm going to go to the effect control panel go to position create a keyframe at the beginning and then i'm going to move the cursor somewhere at the end of the transition and move the airplane to the right like that and now when i play it you can see that the airplane is moving and if you want to be a little bit faster you can move the keyframe a little bit closer to the first one and when i play it from the beginning you can see that airplane is moving much faster but i don't want it so fast i'm just gonna place it somewhere over here and again i'm gonna select the first keyframe and ease in and then second keyframe and ease out now for the third animation i will need the trainers i'm gonna drag them onto the timeline and extend the layer and straight away i'm gonna turn them into a nest and then i'm gonna go to effects and type down transform grab the transform effect and apply it to the shoe layer from the transform effect i'm gonna increase the scale to 149 and then after that i'm gonna go down to rotation and change it to minus 33. then i'll go back to the position and drag the shoe to the left hand side until it get out from the frame and then I'm going to go back to the effect control panel, go to the use composition, untick the box and go down to shutter angle and change it to 180 degrees. Then going back to position, I'll go and click onto the stopwatch so we can create our first keyframe. Then I'll move the cursor somewhere at the end of the layer and create the second keyframe where we're going to drag the shoe to the right hand side until it get out from the frame. Next, I'll go to rotation and create a keyframe, which is gonna match with the first keyframe of the position. Then I'm gonna create a second keyframe where I'm gonna change the degrees to 337 and also match with the second keyframe of the position. And when I play it now, we've got this spinning animation, but it's far too slow. So to fix that, I'm gonna select both keyframes of the position and rotation and drag them closer to the first one. And straight away, you can see the difference. And now to make it even smoother, again, I'm gonna select the first keyframes of both position and rotation and go to ease in and then the second keyframes and ease out. And again, I'm gonna play it. And straight away, you can see that it's much, much smoother. For the next animation, I'll select the Nightland layer and move towards the effect control panel. From there, I'm gonna scroll down to opacity and select the free draw Bezier 2 and create mask around the text. Don't worry if it's not perfect. As long as it covers the text, it's fine. Then I'll move back to effect control panel and scroll down to the mask and click on it and then move frame by frame by pressing the right arrow of the keyboard so i can adjust the mask according to the shoe and because it's going to take a while i'm going to speed it up and show you the final result Now when I have finished applying the mask, let's play it from the beginning and see what it looks like. It looks really good and moving to the next animation, I will select the magic in the air layer and create exactly the same mask. But this time the only difference will be that I am gonna click on to invert it. That means that when the Nightland text is appeared, straight away the magic in the air text will appear. And again, this is gonna take a while, so I am gonna speed it up again and show you the final result. Now finish with the second mask, I'll select the magic in the air layer and go back to the effect control panel. 
from there i'm going to scroll down to mask and click on to the inverted and as you can see the text disappeared straight away and now when i play it from the beginning you can see that we've got this cool animation where the nike land text disappeared and the magic in the air text appeared it's such a cool animation and as you can see it's so simple to do it Still working on the same layer, I'll move up to the effect control panel and create two keyframes on the position. The first one will be over there, and then the second one, I will move a few frames forward and track the text until we get out the frame. Then I'll make a few cuts onto the Nike, it's in the magic layer and the shoe layer because we don't need these parts anymore. And then I'm gonna press T and create text in the middle of the screen. Okay, then press escape, V and resize the text. Next, I'll grab the Nike logo and place it onto the timeline. And after that, I'll move up to the effect control panel, resize it and change the position, which will be below the just to it layer. Then I'll select the text layer and move up to the effect control panel and create two keyframes onto the scale. The first one, I will drag it to zero and then I'll move a few frames forward and go up to 89. Then I'm going to do exactly the same with the logo, but make sure that you match the keyframes of the text layer with the logo layer which is very, very important for this animation. Again, I'm going to create the first keyframe to zero and then I'm going to move it exactly to the second keyframe of the text and bring it back to the original size. And now when the animation is done, I'll play it from the beginning and we'll see what it looks like. It looks good, but I think that without any sound effects or any music, this animation doesn't look alive. So let's put some music and some sound effects and see the final result. And that's it all for this video, guys. That's how you can create a motion banner with Photoshop and Premiere Pro. It's not so difficult, but it takes time i hope you enjoyed guys and if you get some value from it please hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one also if you'd like to see more tutorials about Premiere pro make sure that you check the videos at the end of this one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time